folks. Welcome to the Thursday Thought. This week's topic, toxic resilience. Toxic resilience is a term that I only heard for the first time just a few weeks ago. And it describes what I think so many of us are feeling right now. It's the expectation that our resilience is endless, that our resilience is infinite. And resilience is not something that is supposed to be permanent. Resilience actually is the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. It's the ability to spring back from challenging situations. Resilience is temporary. Resilience is elastic. And you can't pull on an elastic forever. And this expectation that since we've done so well being so resilient the last two years, we can carry on being resilient forever is toxic. When we get into stressful situations, our body often goes into that fight, flight, or freeze instinct. And when your body goes into that fight, flight, or freeze instinct, many other systems actually shut down. From an evolutionary perspective, this made sense. You know, if a tiger is staring you down, it doesn't really matter if you digested your lunch because you might be lunch. So in that moment where you are fighting for survival, literally fighting for survival, only the most critical systems in your body keep working. You have the ability to sprint faster, Think more clearly in those few moments where that tiger is staring you down. And either the tiger eats you or you get away. The problem is with our stress in our current lives is there is no tiger. Unfortunately, our body hasn't evolved to recognize what is a real tiger and what is only a tiger in our minds. So when we are in stressful situations in 2022, they are very often not a physical and present, like a clear and present danger. There is no tiger. The tiger might be your boss expecting that report on time. The tiger might be that you are worried about getting COVID. The tiger is a stressful situation that does not exist in tangible form. And the major problem with that is that if you go into that fight, flight, or freeze instinct and your body shuts down some of its systems, they don't shut, turn back on again. In the real tiger situation, when you get away from the tiger, your body says, ah, okay, the tiger's gone. I can turn all the systems back on again. I can start digesting, etc." But when that stressful situation is intangible, the systems often don't start up again because the tiger didn't go away. That system was set up to be a couple of seconds, maybe a few minutes. It's not set up to be hours, days, weeks, years. And as a result, we have a multitude of problems stemming from the fact that our systems have been shut up, shut off and not shut back on again. And this is toxic resilience. This is the expectation that we will continue indefinitely to live in a modus that was meant to be just seconds. I don't have the solution for toxic resilience, but I think it's very powerful to know what it is, to put a name to it, and to recognize that maybe that is what you are feeling and experiencing, and hopefully get a little comfort by being able to give it a name. Let me know if this resonates. Have a great week and I'll see you next Thursday.